Okay, so we got this 04 Impala, and I'm looking here. Prindle doesn't light up. There's no Prindle. The vehicle does start and run. Trying to go to DTC information. No communication. So we have a no communication issue. The customer says that intermittently the vehicle won't start. We couldn't get out of them, whether that's a no start, a crank no start, you know, no crank. We really don't know for sure what's going on there. Um, so the first step in my diagnosis is always to try to duplicate the customer complaint. And this vehicle started every time for me. However, during cycling the key on and off, I noticed that sometimes the airbag light and the driver information center stayed illuminated. It stayed lit up even with the key out of the uh, vehicle. And you know, this was leading me to believe we definitely had like a power mode issue. I wanted to check the power modes using the Tech 2. However, I got in a position where I couldn't do that. Uh, we had no communication. So that's always a big thing. When you guys are diagnosing vehicles, always, if you have no communication, you know we got a problem. This is where quick testing at the DLC comes in handy with the DLC breakout box. So pins four and five, we had no voltage between them. That's always good. Pin 16 was battery positive, and that's good as well. Um, this vehicle is a very simple network. It's a class two uh, serial data. There's one pin that goes to the DLC. They say that this isn't the whole DLC picture, but actually it is. We got pins four and five ground, 16 is battery positive, and pin two is class two communication. I knew from experience and also all the classes I've attended and everything else that pin two should be toggling between zero volts at rest and seven volts uh, when it's signaling, when it's communicating. I have this Handtech scope I've been demoing, trying it out. If you guys think you want a review of this, let me know. It is a pretty good two-channel scope, handheld, real lightweight and portable. I shouldn't say real lightweight, but it's not bad. If you want a review of that, let me know. Hooking up the scope, um, you can see here. So using our DLC breakout box, we definitely have, um, this is on a class two data here. We should have zero to seven volts and we're going up to what we got here. 10 volts. So that's definitely an issue. Do you have liability insurance or full coverage? So you can see here, I do not. there is a what? problem going on. We have an issue. We're going up to 10 volts. So now it becomes a point of trying to isolate the network. And as I said, pin two of the DLC is the class two communication. It goes to splice pack 205. Many GMs have this splice pack. Sometimes there's an even a splice pack 305 or another number. Um, but on this one, this is the whole vehicle here and every single module comes off this, okay? So during our testing, the easiest thing to do, and what I did, is follow pin two down, and pin two goes right into terminal A of splice pack 205, all right? So terminal A is what hooks up to all the other modules. And on this particular vehicle, what we what we did is I removed the splice back comb. The splice back 205 comb comes out, and I went ahead and jumpered pin A to B, pin B. And this is what we had. This is the PCM communication jumpering the deal. Uh, splice back 205 connector, just directly to the PCM to the scanner. P0134, class 2 high, lost communication with BCM, theft current, misfire, class 2 high. So I one at a time jumpered the modules uh, pin by pin, pin A to whatever module, the next module down the list, and uh, everything was communicating. When we got to the radio, this has an aftermarket radio, and the radio is not communicating, and after a little bit of uh, time, maybe about 10 to 20 seconds on pin uh, terminal A to D, the class two network was going toggling high to the 10 volts. So our aftermarket radio was actually causing all of our problems here. And that was pretty much how simple it was. So this is just simple testing guys. It's not really hard. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you like this type of stuff, let me know. I'll keep on putting it up there when I have time to. Um, guys, I got a class going on, scope class, snap-on scopes, the introduction to snap-on oscilloscopes. We're going to be going over the basics, making sure everybody's comfortable with their scope. This is a class. 
on October 24th. Uh, if you want to go, it's $65 ahead. I'll give, feed you guys. We'll have some food and a good time. Um, there's going to be a lot of hands-on demonstrations. I got all kinds of stuff. Uh, Arduino boards I've been playing with to put out uh, signals, and we have a lot of other hands-on hands -on demonstrations. So if you're interested in coming, uh, let me know. Get a hold of me. Check out the link below in the description. Uh, like, subscribe. Have a great day, everybody.